welcome everyone. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this was an idea a couple weeks ago, okay? I floated it around to some people, um, and some people were like, you know, I, I only think like maybe 30 people will show up. You know, I don't know if it's really gonna make a difference. Um, I put something out with some of my followers on TikTok um, and said that I really wanted to do something here in Loveland because Loveland is a community that I, that I love. This is my community, this is my home, this is where I raise my family, um, this is where I take part in recreation. I have friendships and relationships here and it's a very important part of my life. Um, and I know that this community is not being represented by representatives or politicians that align with this community's values. And I've been pretty ticked off about it. So, um, <laughs> so um, you know, with the help of some very, very passionate volunteers, um, our uh, candidates who are lined up behind me, and they are going to be speaking here soon, so you're going to hear from them, as well as partners. We have partners here from Ohio Physicians for Reproductive Rights. Ohio Red Wine and Blue, Woo! the Ohio ACLU, yeah! by the way we just had a huge win because of the Ohio ACLU, there is a stop to House Bill 23 that bans abortion in the state of Ohio until it can be reviewed by um, local courts, that happened here in Hamilton County, what's up? Okay, another supporter and partner is the Ohio Democratic Women's Caucus. Give it up. We also have our local political action committee, Democracy in Action. Patty Lawrence is in the house. And Jane Gonzalez. Go talk to him. Get involved. Um, we also have Claremont County Democrats. So welcome. So um, I created this event because I want, I created it for my daughter. Now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> she's not here yet, she's at a soccer game. <laughs> she's gonna be here soon. So hopefully someone's recording this <laughs> so she knows how much I care about her. Um, she'll be here later to march with us. I created this event for my daughter. I want her to grow up in a world where she has control over her future. that she has access to well-rounded public education, no matter what district she lives in. That she has access to safe and affordable medical care. That she has the freedom to love and marry whatever partner she chooses. that she is paid equal and fair wages based on her contribution to her employer and not her gender. And finally, to be able to feel safe in her community, free from gun violence and sexual assault. I don't think that's too much to ask people. We just want women and girls to feel safe existing in their community. So what's at stake here? I'll tell you what. The Supreme Court has literally ripped away protections for women and children, people of the LGBTQ community, and everybody else. It's opened the door for Ohio politicians like Jean Schmidt, who is the state, who is the state house representative. She is my state house representative in District 62. She does not represent me and my community. Whoa. 
She lives right here in Loveland. This is in her backyard, and this is why we're doing it here, okay? She thinks that sexual assault is an opportunity for a woman. Well, I'm gonna give her an opportunity to retire. And Brian's gonna do it, okay? Brian Flick is here, he is running against Gene Schmidt. He's an awesome guy. I gotta tell you something about Brian. I was so upset about um, the legislation that she's passed, and I had reached out, I had emailed, I had called, I had said, the how upset I was about what had happened. She has never responded to me. I live a mile down the road from her. She's never responded once to me. I was so upset. I, uh, one day I found Brian's uh, phone number on his website <laughs> and um, I gave him a call. He went to voicemail. I started leaving the voicemail and before I had even gotten to my second sentence. Um, he called me back and we talked on the phone for an hour. He was incredibly responsive. And you know, I wanted to connect with him because I, was, I knew I wasn't gonna vote for Gene, okay? You know, that was a given. But the thing is, is I didn't wanna just vote against her. I wanted to vote for someone. And what I learned in that conversation and the months since then, as I've been supporting Brian and he has become a friend of mine, is that he is someone I can vote for. <laughs> Jean Schmidt has pushed very dangerous legislation. She has pushed the total abortion ban for the state of Ohio, House Bill 598. There is no exceptions starting at conception, no exceptions for sexual assault, incest, health of the mother, only life of the mother, and you have to have another doctor sign off for it to codify it if there's a medical emergency, which is a very difficult and problematic issue, and we were going to hear from some people about what that really means. But she has opened up the door to all of these politicians to put out very threatening legislation. It's banning life-saving reproductive care, and it's not acceptable. So today I encourage everyone in this crowd to be engaged, okay? I don't want y'all silent. I'm loving the hoops and the hollers and all of that. So today you're gonna be hearing from some speakers and this is an opportunity for you to listen, to get educated, but to communicate and engage and use your voice too. And I encourage you all to do that with each other.